Hello and a good afternoon here from Beville East. We're in the gym on the campus of Beville East High School as today we're going to start off the weekend with some boys volleyball after being out at the baseball diamond yesterday. We're going back to the gym and see if the boys can extend their best start in program history. While we were on the baseball diamond yesterday, the boys volleyball team was able to capture a two-set win over their conference foe in the Redbirds of Alton to get them to 11-0, their best start in program history. The 2010 team, the second year in program in the program, went 10-0. The boys were able to get their 10th win on Wednesday and then made it number 11 yesterday. Now they look for number 12 to continue writing history in this program. They last year set this single season. Wins record, I'm thinking with this start, they might be able to do it again. They're 11-0 on the year. They take on the Red Devils out of Chaminade, out of St. Louis. We welcome in here to the gym. I'm Stu Stackworthy. Glad to have you along on a Friday afternoon. JV coming up first. As always, varsity to follow here on a Friday afternoon. Glad to have you along. And we'll see if the boys can end off the week with the win. Had a rough day yesterday. The doubleheader against baseball. Headed up playing two full games after resuming a game in the top of the eighth. That goes to 14 innings against the Bruins yesterday. 8-7 loss and a walk-off air in the bottom of the 14th and then a 5-1 loss in game two. Baseball is at, is home today. They are taking on Mount Vernon out in the baseball field. Hope to get an update for you on our post-game show coming up after varsity. That will be a long time now from now, but we'll try to get that update for you. Softball did get the win yesterday, 16-0 over Granite City on the road. They are taking on Columbia on the road today. We'll try and get an update for you as well on our post game show. I think we got everything covered. The Cardinals are off. They got an open day win yesterday. So we would say, some would say, almost all is well in Lancer Nation. Just need to fear, fi, fi, oh my goodness, start off the weekend all in the win column today. We'll see if the boys could get that done. 12 and 0 would be huge. And Chaminade coming into town, a team at Beverly East has actually played a, quite a lot in program history. They're 6 2 and 1 against them since 2009. And it was actually their inaugural season for Bible East that they played Chaminade, and they tied in the first game, and then they lost later on that season in a tournament. So they played them both both times in a tournament, tied the first time, and lost the second time against the Red Devils. They were supposed to play last year in a at Chaminade, but that game ended up getting canceled due to the weather. It was thunderstorming pretty bad that night, so that game got canceled. The boys did take on the... Uh, Devils last year in the O'Fallon tournament at the, end, last, at the end part of the year winning 21-13, 21-17 in two sets. They've won the last three. They took two in 2022, one at home. We had that for you. That was one of our first ever games. And then one in the O'Fallon tournament as well. That's where they've played. been playing them is in the O'Fallon tournament. The boys will not be in the O'Fallon tournament this year. They're playing up in Lincoln. Uh, I think it's Lincoln Way West. It's either East or West. I forget. Those two schools up there always – Always mix me up. So we're getting ready to begin out there to start for the Lancers back in those black jerseys with Columbia blue text and numerals. Drew Neitzling, your libero, is wearing the blue jersey for the libero with white text and numerals. Out there for the Lancers with JV with Neitzling, the libero, Mario Randall, Brody Geis, Hayden Neitzling, Augie Enriquez, Joey Reich, and Elijah Lopina. Geis is out, Neitzling in. Do not have a JV roster for Chaminade. We would never have it, never have a JV roster for the Blues. But I'll do a call up by Jersey. You know, I do have their varsity roster, of course. And we'll see if Pavel you know, JP's also undefeated. You know, that's been uh, been great to see. They got a win yesterday against Alton as well. They're undefeated in conference play. And on the year, they got a big JV tournament tomorrow here at home. And wish them good luck and see if they can go off into the season in the win column. Hayden Eitzlick has our opening serve. Lancer serve right to left. And we're underway here on your TV screen. A nice setter dumped by Shabanan. And Drew Neitzling couldn't get there. And the Red Devils are on the board first. It's 1-0 as we're underway on a Friday afternoon. Glad to have you along here. Hope you have as much fun watching it. We do bring it to you here. 1-0, Chaminade will serve. Got the first point in this one. Dribbles, dribbles, dribbles. Now runs, puts it up over the net. There is Knightsling. He passes to his brother Hayden. Lopina, nice play, Hayden to Elijah. Ties the game at one, a, just a beautiful set. And Elijah just finished that off. Mario Randall out. Chase Nesbitt in and heard that a few of the underclassmen came in last night as Augie Enriquez will serve it here. 
always good. You know, I talked about coach talked to coach today about the game last night. Obviously, not being there, had to had to get the uh, um, analysis. I guess you could call it as that serve is going to go out too strong from Enriquez, and it's two to one. It's Shamanad back up on front, on top, and I talking about him today and he said it's still you know it was a good win you know we're able to win by a good margin like they did in set one and set two able to get a set shot out it's always good and coach is still very happy with the success and the progress he's seen this week going from Monday all the way to here to playing four games this week and three in a row Hayden he wants Elijah again and there's going to be a whistle and a violation against the Lancers will give Shaman out a point and it's three to one Blue Devils Red Blue, Blue Devils I'm thinking, I'm thinking Quincy Red Devils Ah, man, when you, uh, ah, Quincy, good old Quincy. Got them two mixed up when you're talking doubles. That one's going to be too strong, and Outlancer point three to two. Already Geis will come back in. He'll come in for Drew Neinzelin. One-point game, and Elijah, Elijah Lopino will serve this one here. The uh, sophomore, and he's looked pretty good this year. I, again, just the guy that, ah. Uh, that jinx does it goes in that. It's just a guy that I like to like to see his you know his improvement. It's been great to see so far start off the year and excited to see what he can do still. A lot more coming from a guy that's officially on the varsity roster and checked in last night. That one's gonna go out, so I'll answer point four to three. Logan Day is gonna check in for the first time. He'll come in for Joey Reich. And it'll be Day, the sophomore back to serve. Lancer's looking to Tie the game here. Should be 4 3, right? They got 4 2 on the scoreboard. Well, it's going to be ace for Day. Now they got it right, so 4 4. Logan, Day, Logan Day's first serve is an ace. Also, Fish is off a five game week. I guess you can call it six days now because technically we did call two games yesterday, that double header that I did not think it would take seven innings, but it did. It took seven. So technically called two full games yesterday, which is crazy to think. That serve by Day is going to be another ace. He's got back-to-back. -back. And the Lancers take their first lead of the afternoon. It's 5-4. One-point lead. Day will serve this one. It's going to be two strong and outs. Hide up at five. Five five served by Shamana. That's going to be just in on the back line as Knightsley and Enriquez went kind of landed right right in the middle of them, and Devils take the lead back six to five. It's a one point lead. Close start here in set one. JV trying to stay undefeated. That's right in the middle. Augie pass to Logan. He wants Chase on the right side. That's going to be too strong and out. Seven five and Shamana back up by two. Lancers just scored three straight to take the lead from 4-2 to 5-4. And Shamana now has responded with three straight of their own. It's 7-5. That's near the line. Augie, he's got Day. Right side. Nesbitt hits it over. That is in. Just in on the back line. And Chase Nesbitt with the kill gives the Lancers a point back. And it's a one-point game, 7-6. Be Chase Nesbitt back to serve. Chase line drive, top of the net, got over and ace is Lobero couldn't get there in time in the middle. 7-7, seven, seven. tie game in set one. JV trying to take the lead back here. Another serve coming for Chase, gets it near the line, Shamanai. Pass it backwards, Libero just sends it over. There is going to be Day. He's going to throw it for Knightsley. Knightsley's going to set up Hayden, his brother on the right side. That's going to be out as it couldn't stay in. Hit it to the right of the line. And Chaminade takes the lead back. It's 8 7. Mario Randall will come back in. Chase Nesbitt out. Another serve for. The Devils, line drive, ninth sling, pass, day, dive in play. Randall tried to keep it up and 
Couldn't. It's an ace for Shamana. Nine, seven, doubles by two. Nine, seven, another serve. This one is over. Knight's laying in the middle. He goes to Day. Now it goes to Geis. Beautiful set and a beautiful put down by Brody. 9-8. The Lancers get it to one. Opina back in the game. He'll come in for Geis, and it'll be Drew Knightsling and the libero back to serve for the Lancers. Close start here to this one. This serve is over by Knightsling. Pass. Yep, that's going to be a whistle. Violation on Shamana. We're tied up at nine. Tie game. Lancers trying to take the lead back. That pass from the libero is into the net. And an ace for Drew. 10-9. The Lancers retake the lead. Leading by one. Another serve for Knightsling near the line. Up in the air, in the middle, pass, roll shot. Randall couldn't get there. Nice play from number 13, and he gets a kill. Tied back up again, 10-10. This has been a close one here to start things off. Chaminades looks solid here. Made some good plays. That was a good one there. 10-10, that serve is over. Augie, pass to Day. He wants to go back to Augie, and he couldn't get there. He's had to reach into the net. 11-10, and... Chaminade has retaken the lead. They're up by one. Obero serve for the Devils to Randall. Gets it to Enriquez. Drew just hits it over. Now it comes back. Hayden, nice, finishes it there. 11-11 is he hit it over. Logan Day out, Joey Wright in, and it'll be Hayden Knightsling to serve. Start off the game serving for Pavelis. So the Lancers have made a full, full service rotation, and that serve by Knightsling is a violation to get called on Chaminade. We'll give the Lancers the lead back 12 to 11. I'd like to see if they can hold on to this here and maybe make a run, and because it's been going back and forth here over the last few minutes. Twelve to eleven. Another serve coming for Hayden. This one's over in the middle of the barrel. Set in the middle. Over. Drew keeps it alive. Running for it. Couldn't get there. It was Hayden or Mario? And twelve twelve. Shamanad ties the game here. Twelve twelve. Another serve for the Devils. This one. It's over. Drew pass to Hayden. Goes the right side for Enriquez. Nice put down, but the Devils are there. Lopinas tips it back over, running for it. That's going to be a point for the Lancers. Couldn't get there. 13-12, east by one. They go back up on top. Augie Enriquez will serve it here. Oh, yeah, that's too strong. That's going to go into the lobby. 13-13, and it's back to another tie game. It just keep going back and forth. Shaman doesn't take the lead in a minute, though, is the Lancers will take the lead and lose it and take it right back on the next point. Tie game, served by the Devils of the line drive. Knightsling gets to his brother Hayden. Lopina over for a kill, and the Lancers have the lead back. It's 14-13, east by one. Drew Knightsling out, Brody Geis is back in, and no Lopero for Pavelista as it will be Lopina back to serve it for the Lancers. Serve to Lopero. Uh, Nesbitt kind of just hold, hung, hung on to it, stuck between the net, and the ball got stuck with his hand in the net. 14-14, tie game. Tie game. Devils will serve it again. This one goes right to Augie. Gets it to Hayden. Left side chase. Hard put down for a kill. 
Chase Desmond responds. Lancers back up by one. Logan Day in for Joey Rex. Something's got to go here. We keep going east by one. Tie game, east by one. Tie game. Can the Lancers take a two-point lead here? They have not done that yet today in this game. Largest lead is one, which is crazy to think about. 15-14. Day serve is out and tied up again at 15. That one's into the net. Point Bubbly, 16-15. Chase Nesbitt will serve. Serve by Chase, this one to Libero in the middle. Pass and miscommunication on the left side. No one there, and the Lancers have their largest lead of the game. It's 2, 17-15. Big point. See if they can continue in our serve by Chase. Shamanan in the middle, pass, go left side, that's over. Day throws it in the middle for Knightsley. Now he goes left side for Enriquez. He didn't put, I was hoping for him to put one down, but it's going to go out. All they're going to say, it's off the touch though. So it is a Lancer kill and a point. 18-15, and the Lancers are up by three. They've scored three straight for their largest lead, and Shamanad will take their first time out. JV, Lancers lead it by three here in set one. It's 18-15 over the Devils of Chaminade. Time out the floor will take one as well. This is Lancer Volleyball on the Beverly Broadcast Network. Well, back here, Stewart's talking to the late set one here in JV. JV trying to stay undefeated. Got the win yesterday against Dalton. Trying to keep it the streak going. They've scored three straight to take an 18 15 lead. The sophomore Chase Nesbitt will start us out of the Chaminade timeout to serve. That's tipped over by the Lancers. Enriquez had it. 19 15, and the boys lead by four. That's Four straight points. Their largest lead, another serve coming. Nesbitt right in the middle of the libero. Pass, left side, blocked on the Lancer side and a point for the Devils, 19-16. Jason Nesbitt out, big points by him and Mario Randall will check in for him and the sophomore for sophomore substitution. Three point game, 19-16. Serve for the Devils. This one, a line drive, Drew passes to Logan. Logan goes right side to Hayden, tip over. He's got it for a kill. On the right side, Lancer point, 20 to 16. IJ Lopina back in for Brody Geis and Drew Neitzling will serve it for the second time. He's back to serve the libero. This serve, right in the middle. Big pass into the net, Lancer point. All of a sudden up by five, leading a 6-1 run, and it's 21-16. Answers need four more. That's an ace for Drew. 22-16. Answers by six. To a serve, line drive right in the middle, pass. Go left side, sorry, right side. Over, too strong. Lancers need two more, it's 
23-16, Eitzling, serve, pass, set, no one there on the left side, and that will go out. Lancer point at set point. Here at set one, 24-16. And Drew Neitzling looks to put the finishing touch here on set one. Served by Neitzling, it's over. In the middle, they got sent over a free ball, it's over, there is Randall. Gets it to Logan Day. Day to Enriquez, too strong and out. So Chaminade gets the point, 24-17. The Devils will need seven straight to keep this one alive. Lancers trying to take set one here. Heather O'Barrell will be the one serving it. And the serve by the Devils. Near the line, it's out, and the Lancers take set one. Winning 25-17, a good start to a Friday afternoon. We'll see if they can make it a set shot out here in set two, coming up in a few minutes. We'll be back after a timeout. This is Lancer Volleyball on the Valley's Broadcast Network. And we walk you back here from Babaliska right here for set two. And JV with the Lancers taking set one, 25-17 against the Red Devils of Chaminade. I'm Steven Stockton. We've got to have you along on a Friday afternoon. Good to be the weekend. First week back from spring break, man. It was a long one, I tell you. It was a long week and glad to be on the weekend. We'll see if the Lancers can start the weekend off in the W category. Baseball at home out in the baseball diamond taking on Mount Vernon right now. Softball on the road at Columbia. Girls got the win yesterday at Granite City, 16-0. Boys unfortunately dropped a doubleheader against Belleville West, losing 8-7-14 from a suspended game on Tuesday and 5-1 in seven against the Maroons yesterday. Boys Volleyball got their 11th win, 11-0 yesterday with the win against Dolph. Out there to start the Lancers here at set two, Hayden Eitzling, Brody Geis 
Augie Enriquez, Mario Randall, Joey Reich. Drew Neitzling is your libero, and Chaminade will start to serve it. It's set two going left to right. That's a ball that Joey Reich is going to get there. Good play. As, as that one's going to be blocked, and Enriquez, that's going to be a Lancer point as they're going to call it on Chaminade. Lancers on the board first here at set two. Chaminade had the first point in set one to start things off. On the left side, that's over. Neitzling, pass to his brother Hayden from Drew to Hayden to, to Augie had it blocked. Joey hits it back. There is Hayden Neitzling and a whistle. They'll go against the Lancers on a lift if we're tied up at one. Level East coming to record 11-0. JV undefeated still. They also won against Dalton yesterday. It's a good, nice little... Program win yesterday for the both JV and varsity. Doing well. Line drive, serve, left side, right. Hard put down and a kill. Lancers back up on top, two to one. Chase Nesbitt in. Mario Randall out, and it will be Augie back to serve. Chaminade, two, five, and one coming in. And they've played three common opponents with Belleville East, or at least one that the Lancers have already played. They'll play two more. I'll play one of them next week and the one the week after. They're one and two against the Lancer common opponents as Reich hits that over in the middle. Set, go left side, that one. Hayden, nice play, gets it to Drew. Drew, and it's gonna be whistles. And a point for Chaminade as a violation goes against the Lancers tied up at two. They beat St. Mary's, so the Lancers will play on Tuesday. Evan Strini and Augie Enriquez out. They beat them in three sets. They've lost to Slough High. The Lancers will play them in two weeks. Lost to them in three sets and then played St. Pius X. Also lost to three sets. And you got to remember in Missouri, it's a best out of five. So that makes things a little more interesting. Chaminade trying to keep it alive. Unable to in the back right corner. Lancers take the lead back three to two. As I.J. Lopina back in. Brody Guy Souger Knights on the pair to serve. And you look at it. Best out of five. That's the Lancers have not had that yet this season. They're going to have that first one next Thursday at Ladue. Chase, nice little tip over, puts it down, and a Lancer point four to two. They lead by two. Chaminade will also be coming back here. They're not going to be in Belleville, but they'll be up a little bit, about 40, 50 minutes away from up here. They're going to be at Edwardsville. That one's going to be an ace for Drew. Five to two. They'll be at Edwardsville High School tomorrow morning. They're going to play two games. They'll be taking on the Tigers and then also taking on Oakville tomorrow at Edwardsville. They're also going to play Slough High again. They'll also play Ladue later on in the season. As I mentioned, that's who the Lancers will be taking on on Tuesday. Dive in play. Sorry, Thursday. Dive in play. It's over. Knightsling, the Nesbitt hits it in the net. Point for the Devils, and it's 5-3. Chaminade last year went 18-14-3. and three. They played 35 games on the money as that hit right off of Strini into the net, and it's 5-4. They played 35 games last season, lost to Slough High in the playoffs. Over in Missouri, lost it four sets to the Junior Billikens. Another serve by Chaminade, Strini. Neitzling to right, hits it over. Right in the middle. Devils from the libero in the middle. Free ball, it's over. There is Strini. Goes to, hits it over, and it landed right in the middle of three Lancer players, and this game is tied up at five. Tie game, Chaminade trying to take the lead, a serve. Hayden gets it to Elijah, who just hits it over, and a kill, 6-5. Logan Day will come in for Joey Wright. Kingston Brewer is going to make his first appearance of the day. He'll come in for Hayden Eitzling, and it'll be the sophomore day back to serve for the first time in the set.
day. Serve right in the middle. Watch out, Coach Padgett. Near the scores table. Referee making a nice play to protect him, and it's going to be an ace for day 7-5 as it went right off the Chaminade player's hands. Two-point game. Served by Day. This one's right to the little pair in the middle. Set, go, left side. That's off of Strenny, and a kill. 7-6 for the Devils. State's get it back to a one-point game. Line drive is into the net. Tie game at seven. Memorial Randall will come in, Chase Nesbitt out. Here comes Augie Enriquez, and then Strini out, and it'll be Mario Randall to serve for the first time. See what the sophomore Mario can do. Gets this one over. Chaminade set in the middle. Tip over off of Elijah. Hits the ground, and the Devils have taken their first lead of the second set. It's 8-7. One point lead. Obero for Chaminade will serve. The serve. It's over. Nightsling. Day. Lopena hits it over to Kale. Elijah ties it right back up. It's 8-8. Wait, hold on. I'm all over the place. I think it's 9-7 Lancers. I'm looking at the scoreboard wrong. Oops. I don't know what I had. It's 9-7 Lancers. They take the lead. Two-point lead. I don't know. I'm all over the place from JV or set too. It's 9-7 Lancers. That's what it should be. As Elijah service over Shamanot hits it in the net. Point by at least 10-7. I'm all over the place. I'm telling you. Yesterday had me uh, messed up in the resumed suspended game from Tuesday with baseball. It's the Lancers of the away team. We're in the top of the eighth. The scoreboard at, out there at the baseball stadium was messed up because with, with extras. I mean, it, I mean, yesterday was very, uh, just very, very wild. So left side hit over. There it is Randall Day. Uh, six games in four, five days will be as Day hits it over. Point Lancers 11-7. It's going to be six games in five days. It's going to be a crazy stretch. And you have that with the first two weeks we've had as well with baseball, volleyball tournament, softball, baseball doubleheaders last week during spring break. It has been busy, man. 11-7. That one's over. Set. Go left side. Roll shot. Hits the top net. It gets over. Enriquez today. He sets back. Enriquez. Hard spike. Put down by Augie. For a kill and a Lancer point, it's 12-7. Lancers by five. And Chaminade takes their first time out. We'll take one as well. This is Lancer Volleyball here in the second set on the Valley's Broadcast Network. We'll be right back. Lancers by five, midway through, set two. They took the first set, 25-17. JV trying to stay undefeated on the young season. It's so crazy to think we're a little bit young still. After the next week, I'd start calling it mid, middle. Middle age, and there's a kill for Brody Geis, and it's 13-7. Lancers by six, and all of a sudden can double Chaminade's points. It was just a one-point lead in favor of the Lancers. They're on a run now. 
They've scored five straight here. Opino leading a great run for the boys. That's in the middle. Set go left side. Hit over. Mario going backwards. Can't get there. Point for the Devils, and it's 13-8. Five-point game. Chaminade will serve it here. Serve. There is Randall. He goes to Day. Day left side for Enriquez. Augie gets another. 14-8. Lancers by six. Eight and nine swing will come in for. Kingston Brewer, and then also be Joey Wright coming in for Logan Day. It'll be Aiden back to serve. Aiden serves this one. Pass. Go right side. There is Mario fighting one off. He gets it to Hayden. Left side, Augie, he wants another. And Enriquez gets another. 15-8, Lancers by seven. Looking very, very good right now. This Bevel East had set to, it was a little bit of a slow start. Chaminade played pretty well to start off the game. And as time went on, the Lancers prevailed and got it, went on a run and took a lead. That's too strong and out. Lancers by eight. They've doubled Chaminade's points. 16-8. Varsity coming up upon the conclusion of this one. Have it for you here. A serve. Over. Set in the middle. Go right side. Over. There he is. Haiti gets to his brother Drew. Goes to Joey Reich on the right side. He hit it in the net. Point for Chaminade at 16-9. Seven point game, that's gonna go into the net. Point for the Lancers, 17-9. Up by eight and they need eight. Mario Randall out, Chase Nesbitt in and it'll be Augie to serve. Enriquez, line drive into the net. 17-10. Augie Enriquez out, Evan Sherney back in for the Lancers. Serve is off Nesbitt's hands, went right through his fingertips. Trying to make a play on that, it went right through him. It's an ace for Chaminade, and it's 17 11. Six point game. Serve, it's over. Strini. Knightsling. Hayden sends over a free ball. Back over. Drew in the middle. He goes to Hayden. He's going to set. Geis. Right to the Devils and miscommunication. It's going to land right in the floor and a point for the Lancers. It's 18 to 11. Lancers by seven. They need seven here. To capture a win. And it'll be Aiden Stewart coming in for the first time. A sophomore. We'll see how they're going to do this here. Lopina's going to come in. And then we're going to have seven guys out there, though. Stewart comes in for Geis. And Drew Ninesling's out. Okay, so it's back to six. So we'll just review who's out there as Hayden Stewart will serve. It'll be Evan Strini, Hayden Ninesling, Chase Nesbitt, Joey Reich, and a Light J. Lopina. So no ace, or not ace, no libero for the Lancers. Right side, roll shot. There is Hayden in the middle. Gets it to Strini. Strini's going to set Chase on the left side, hit it too strong and out. 18 to 12. So Geis will come back in. He'll come in for Stewart. And then Drew Neitzling is going to come in, it looks like, as well. Let's see who he's going to come in. He'll come in for Geis. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Drew Neitzling in for Brody Geis. Devils will serve it here. Shamana. That's in. Shrini ducked the head. It just was in on the back line. And a huge point for the Devils, making it two straight. They got it to five now. and Trying to 
Lead a run here. Been chipping at it. Went, got two points straight last time. This one's going to go out. So Lancers by six. They need six. Logan Day will come in for Joey Reich. And then Kingston Brewer also in for Hayden Knightsling. Another serve. Day will have it for you. And whistles, point for the Lancers up by seven. They need five, 20 to 13, almost there. Trying to stay undefeated. Won the first set by eight, 25-17, trying to win by a bigger margin here. Double digits would be nice if we can get that. That's going to be an ace. Dig goes to the scorer's table. 21-13, the Lancers are by eight. And Chaminade will take their second timeout. The boys are four points away from staying undefeated here for JV. Timeout on the floor will take one as well. This is Lancer Volleyball on the Bell East Broadcast Network. Well, back here late, set two. Steven Stock with their JV trying to get a set shutout. Won the first set by eight, 25 17. The lead by eight here needed four more. The sophomore, Logan Day, will serve out the Chaminade timeout. Gets it over. Devils on the left side. Too strong and out. Lancers need three more. They can get their lead to double digits. This is their largest lead of the game. They led by eight. That was how much they won by in the first set. And another one coming here for Day. This one is to the left line. That's going to go to the scores table almost, and it's saved, but not backed up. Point for Bevel East. They lead by 10. They need two more. It's 23-13. Day needs two more, but they won't come as it goes into the net. 23-13. 14. Chaminade looking for a late rally here. Serve into the net. Point Bevel East. We've hit game point. 24 14. Mario Randall comes in for Chase Nesbitt. Augie Enriquez will come in for Evan Strini. And it will be Mario looking to. Get a set shutout here for JV. Now they're trying to put the finishing touch here. Here we go. The sophomore gets it up. Too strong and out. So Chaminade will need nine straight to keep this one alive. It's 24 15. Over, Enriquez, middle of the day. Brewer trying to end it, had it blocked. Land on the Chaminade side in the middle. That's gonna be a Lancer winner. Two set shutout. 25-17, 25-15, the Lancers defeat the Red Devils at Chaminade, their JV season. They stay undefeated, now it's up to Varsity to do the same thing. They try and start 12-0 for the first time in program history. They got it done to 11-0 last night. They try to extend their best start in program history against the two five and one Chaminade Red Devils. That's coming up in about 20 minutes or so. We'll have your national anthem starting lineups in a bit. Have to let our boys warm up. We'll be back for that. This is Lancer Volleyball on the Bevel East Broadcast Network.
Friday afternoon, JV able to get a set shutout. Let's get a varsity win. Boys looking to go 12 and 0, continue their best start in program history. They achieved that yesterday, going 11 and 0. I'm Steve Stackler, my partner, joining me for the first time in quite a while since the end of the basketball season. My good buddy Owen Jacobs, how are you doing, sir? I'm good. It's it's nice being back here, man. I've been playing baseball. That's great. I walked past you a couple times and realized that I really missed this. It's, it's, it's been fun. It was really fun with, during the basketball season, and I really miss it. And well, so I'm glad to be back. Big one here for Shamanad and the Lancers to get the start lines before we continue. Let's review them here from our great 
PA, assistant coach of the basketball team, Keith Padge. Starting lineups, it's going to be number th for Chaminade, number three, a senior, Hayden Schmitz. Number four, a junior, Charles Keen. Number five, a freshman, Alex Taporti. Number eight, a senior outside, Teddy O'Brien. Number nine, a senior, Jack Taporti. Number 10, a senior, Ryan Frick. Number 11, hold on, I messed up my start. Number 11, Bodie Steckenbiker. At number 15, Max Carr. A senior, number 17, Will Doris. A junior in the Little Perro is number one, Hector Lopez. For Beverly, same start lap. Number two, a senior, Caleb Day. Number six, a senior, Sebastian Schultz. Number nine, a senior, August Warner. Number 10, a junior, the setter, Keegan Rose. Number 14, a senior, Damian Watson. Wrap it out, number 24, the junior, Jack Byers. And your Little Perro tonight for Pebble East is the senior, as always, number seven, Camden DeJournay. Shout out, Cubs record at 2-5-1. This is the 10th meeting between the two schools in program history. They met twice in the Lancers' inaugural year of 2009. The Lancers tied the first game in a tournament and then played them the same exact day later that day and lost in two sets. The Lancers have won the last three. They took two in 2022, one at home. We had, that was one of the first games I've ever done, and in the, also in the O'Fallon tournament. The Lancers beat them last year in the O'Fallon tournament, 21-13, 21-17 in two sets. Sh Chaminade last year went 18, 14, and three, lost to Slough High in the playoffs in four sets. Chaminade will start off with the serving Jack Tapori, one of their big players on this team. He's a senior setter for the Red Devils. So we're going to begin on a Friday night. Glad to have you along here. From Lancer Gym on the campus of Pebble East High School, this one's over. August Warner passes to Jack Byers. He gets it back to Warner. Too strong and out, and Chaminade's on the board first. One of the that's how this one begins. Chaminade, Teddy O'Brien's gonna be probably the biggest guy to watch out for. Their, their kills are kind of even. They got a guy with 1.6, that's O'Brien, then Frick's at 1.5, and our guy at 1.2 kills per set. This is a team that has played some tough teams, including Slough High, as I mentioned earlier. Warner, there's the kill for August as it goes off. Oh, no, it's off the hoop. Those gonna go in the crowd, we're still alive. Byers will finish it, there you go. 1-1. One, one. Jack Byers ties it, and he will go back to start the Saints off from the service line. Bubble East Baseball has a 4-2 lead on Mount Vernon in the bottom of the six right now. Good to see for Coach Wiggs and the boys. After a rough doubleheader loss yesterday against Bubba West, they're going to adjust the net here on the right side. And i got to check softball here and see how the girls are doing at Columbia. Two to one, please tell me that's Bevel East leading two to one and not, it is, Lancers lead two to one, bottom six against Columbia. Jack Byers, the junior gets things over on the first serve, goes to Libera, now tip over the right side, dive in play, and Schultz hit it, could back it up, two to one, Chaminade takes the lead. The serve for the Red Devils will be Ryan Frick 1.5 kills per set, a senior outside. Cam DeJournay as it's tipped over off of Rose, three to one. Red Devils have a two point lead. Not the start, the Lancers won it here. One yesterday and two against Alton. That serve, Warner! What a dig by Chaminade. Tip over, DeJournay, Rose, tip over. Devils run for it, set. Throw it left side. Warner, pass to Rose. Back to August. That one's blocked to the net. Red Devils, right side off the set. In the middle, DeJournay to Rose. Back to Warner. That one's over again in the middle. Chaminade, set, middle, over, out. No touch and a Lancer point, three to two. That one went back and forth for a bit. Caleb Day will check in. Sebastian Schultz out. DeJournay to serve. Different service order for Coach Nesbitt tonight. Usually Keegan Rose starts off, then it goes to Warner. They say, let's go Byers, and then DeJournay. His serve, top of that, it gets over in the middle. Pass, throw it left side. That one is going to be in for a kill. Four to two, Chaminade back by two. The Devils are one and two against common opponents for Bevel East. That is St. Mary's. They beat St. Mary's. The Lancers will take on Tuesday at home. will be at the softball diamond for softball with Edwardsville. One and two, they... Lost to Slough High in three, lost to St. Pius in three. That one is over, Red Devils. Roll shot over, Damian. Keegan, Day had it blocked. Lancers are still there though, near the net. Byers, 
Rose, left side, August, need him to finish one, it's blocked, off of Chaminade and out, Lancer point, four to three. Need August to finish one of those though, they've played really well on the digs against the Mr. D1. Tice Watson out, oh sorry, Tice Watson, Damian Watson out, here's Mr. MVP of that Boys Volleyball Invitational Tournament, Keegan Rose, also Mr. St. Louis High School Sports Player of the Week, last week, Rose. Hits it over, Tice Watts with the block, and he got it! Tie game at four. The junior Tice comes in and makes an immediate impact. Four to four. Keegan back to serve, looking to give the Lancers their first lead of the evening. AV one in two sets, 25-17, 25-15. That serve is over, throw it right side. Is it off the touch? It was off the block. Chaminade back up on top, five to four. East and the Red Devils were supposed to play last year at Chaminade. That game got canceled due to thunderstorms that night. That's too strong and out. 5 5. It was a Friday just like this. Wednesday began the St. Louis Gauntlet for Beville East. They're going to be playing Ladue Thursday at Ladue. They're going to have St. Mary's Tuesday at home. The week after, they're going to have Slew High. St. Louis Gauntlet trying to go undefeated. Go left side, they went undefeated last year. That one is too strong. And out, Lancer point. And they take their first lead, 6-5 early at set one. Lancers took down Slew High here at home and talked about last year's team, only one loss to a team not named the Panthers of O'Fallon. That came against St. Xavier out of Kentucky. And guess what, Lancers beat them earlier this year. Rose, Dejernay, he was gonna go to set for Byers. What a dig by Lopero, goes back over. Dejernay, Rose, right side, Tice had it blocked, but it's out off the doubles. Point Lancers, three straight, and they lead 7-5. Lancers by two. Both softball and baseball winning today so far. That's gonna go too strong and out. From August 7-6. Boys trying to, all three teams trying to start off the weekend in the win column. Baseball will be off this weekend. Softball will be at Redbud for a doubleheader tomorrow. Steinbecker serves it for Chaminade. Rose fires. He destroyed that one. My goodness, Jack. The Jack attacks loose. And it's 8 6. Lancers by two. Sebastian Schultz back in. Cam Danger now. out. Lancers will play with Nola Barrow for Caleb Day. They will serve for Pebble East. Day serves to Libero, pass, set, go left side, over, hit the antenna. That's a Lancer, point nine six. Lancers by three. Day will continue his run, that's into the net. Nine seven. Be the libero. Just Hector Lopez, and I gotta blame Coach Padgett. I have my starters messed up because of him. But Lopez is one of those starters. So the first three Schmitz, Corn, and Alex Deporti were the ones not starting. That's gonna go out ten seven. So you got everybody check mark down there, and I'm like halfway through the roster, and he's like, it's not, it's not right. Dice Watson will serve it. Apologize for doing that a little bit wrong. So it's. Brian, Tapardi, Freak, Seikenbecker, Carr, Darius, and the Libero, Lopez. Chaminade, over, nice play in the middle and a beautiful set, put down. Carr on the kill and it's 10-8. They had a good set or two, just, I was just talking about that to uh, Coach Nesbitt this morning. I came up to him this morning, I talked about, talking about last night, he's, he's already, he was in there watching, watching some film on Chaminade, of course, as he does, trying to make sure his boys are ready. Jack the party, their setter is going to serve it here. We're going to talk about this guy. This guy can play. Gage A on the dig to Rose. Left side, Jack. Still up. Is that going to get over? Tipped over, blocked by Schultz. Red Devils will try it again. Throw it backwards. That one is too strong and out. Lancer point. Back up by 3, 11 8. Jack Byers has started everything off, serving, so we made a full service rotation. 
Fires his second serve. The junior, too strong and out, 11-9. Answers one and two last night against Dalton. And still played pretty well, winning by big margins. Ryan Frick will serve. That was Lancer's second win in conference play. They're 2-0 now. Werner, there's August. Hello. There's a kill for number nine. It's 12-9. Lancer's by three. Finally, Warner puts one down. They've been playing well. I, obviously, he's on that scout report. He's on the top of the sheet. Has to be with his talent. Finally gets one to go. Cage Renee, his second serve to Libero. This one's over. Chaminade throws it up in the air. Set, throw it right side. Nice dig by Damian. He gets it to Keegan. Caleb had it blocked on the Lancer side. Or sorry, on the Chaminade side into the net. Point bubble East, 13-9. Lancer's by four. Major Nay serve is into the net. 13-10. Max Carr, senior middle serve. Gets it over, Damian, Keegan, left side, August. Off the block, kill for Warner. Point Pebble 14-10, Lancers by four. Tice Watson back in for Damian. And it'll be Keegan, the junior setter. Serves it for the second time, it's over. Chaminade, left side, had it blocked. Devils try it again, go left side. That's in as it went off Byers anyway. But Denham is still in, 14-11. So back to three, Chaminade playing this close here. And last year was close against a very good Pebble East team. 21-13 in the second set, very close. It's 21-17. Playing a 21 in that O'Fallon tournament. August will tip over, had it blocked, tried again as Dejernay, he dives, gets it to Warner, he can't get that over, he was at a tough angle. Dejernay threw it to the right side, had to dive to keep that one in, where it didn't touch the floor. And that led to getting Warner put at a tough angle. That's not what you wanted there. That went out of reach a day. And then Watson had to back it up, and that's into the net. One point game, 14 13. Chaminade can tie it here. Service over. Tajan A. Rose. Werner! What a dig by the libero. And Lopez, Red Devils hit it back over. There's Tajan A in the middle. He goes to Rose. He sets August. There we go, Werner! The senior. Makes another big play at the kill, 15-13, and number nine will go back to serve. They need August, and August is a big part of the Monday game against Father McGivney. He had to step up huge in spots and trying to keep going to Warner here. He's had some big kills this, here in set one, 15-13, his line drive serves in at 15-14. One point game, it will be Spody Steinbecker, a senior outside, will serve. Chaminade has a good number of seniors on this team. They got a few juniors and a couple of sophomores and freshmen as well. That's out. Oh, they're calling in. Just in on the back line. And Dejanet, we know this. Talking about him the last two years, A. Rivero back there. He's a guy that usually does not let that, you know, if it's going to go out, he lets it go out. If it's going to go in, he's going to make a play. And, Another one where a mistake just went in. This game's tied up at 15 on an ace. Dejanet passed to Byers. Sorry, to Rose. There's Tice Watson with the response. Gives the Lancers the lead back, 16-15. Dejanet out. Shibble, smashed it, Schultz back in. And Caleb Day back to serve for his second time. 16-15. Day in the middle. Chaminade. Tip over. Nice play by... Jack to Porter on the center dump. Just sent it back. Competitive game here, and this is a good one on a Friday. Great way to open up the weekend. Chaminade, Bevelis, 16 16. Answers 11 0. The Devils, 2 5 and 1. Warner, Rose, ties too strong out, and Chaminade has taken the lead back. They haven't led since early on. In this game, it's 17-16. Chaminade by one. 
Rose, Byers had it blocked. Tice just sends it back. Shamanad on the kill. Ryan Freck has given the Devils an 18-16 lead. It's a two-point game. And the Lancers, I mean, they've only lost one set all year. Came to St. Xavier. They've led, or fell. That's going to be out. I don't think they've trailed like this late, this late in a set beside the St. Xavier game. Think about it. 18-17, how will they respond to this? As Tice Watson is serving, we need a run here. That's what we have not had yet today is a service run. I think Tice can get one here. He had a couple earlier on here in the year. That's going to be too strong and out. Chaminade's up by two. 19-17. Damian Watson back in, Tice Watson out. Tipperetti, Jack Tipperetti will serve at the senior setter. Line drive right to Warner. Rose is there. Byers. Point and a kill for Jack. Point for Pebble East. 19-18. Will be Jack Byers to serve for the third time. Need a run. We're looking for. Haven't had it yet. Byers, line drive, libero, pass, set, right side in the middle. Rose, Dejernay, throw it left side for Warner at an awkward angle, hit the antenna. Yep, I mean, it put him at an awkward angle, and I, as soon as he hit the ball, I knew it was going to hit the antenna, and it did. 20 to 18. Tough to do anything when you're at an angle like that. Ryan Frick service out, though. The Lancers are with back within one, 20 to 19. Caleb Day is in. Schultz out, Dejanay to serve. Dejanay, if I remember correctly, led a service run against O'Fallon in the sectional semifinal last year. We need a run like that here. That was a few points. Set, left side, Warner, Rose, set, August! Still up. Chaminade's done a good job on these August Warner hits. Rose sets Day in the middle. Shamanad keeps it alive. Right side, Byers. Running out of rooms, Warner. Hits the floor, 21-19. The Lancers trail by two late in set one. Shamanad, two, five, and one. Having a late lead as it will be Hayden Schmitz, a senior defensive specialist, also can play libero, will serve it. Served by Schmitz. Out! That's out! Yes! Point Lancers, 21-20. Tice Watson back in for Damian Watson. Keegan Rose will serve. Need a run. Still looking for it. See if Rose can have it. Rose, serve. It's over. Pass in the middle, set, put down. Too strong and out, we're tied at 21. Rose will serve it again. Lancers try to take a lead. They haven't had it in a little bit of a time. It's been a while. That serve is over. Shaman out in the middle, set, right side. Blocked by the senior August Warner, put the hands up. Gives the Lancers the lead back, 22-21, August. There he is, there's the senior. And Chaminade needs the timeout. The Devils call their first late in set one. The Lancers hold on to a one point lead, 22-21, trying to keep their undefeated season alive. We'll be back after this. This is Lancer Volleyball on the Bell East Broadcast Network.
Lancers have scored three straight, two straight on this Keegan Rose service run. We need just three more as the Lancers lead by one, 22-21 out of the Chaminade timeout. Rose will serve. He's followed by Byers, Tice Watson, Day, Warner, Dejan, and Adrian Lefaro. Go left side, Chaminade. Dejan couldn't get there. Made a play on the ball. No one could follow it up. 22-22 and a good spot by the Devils to put the ball. No one there. Tie game. It'll be Tyler Krentz, a senior. will serve it out. The defensive specialist It's into the net. Lancers have retaken the lead. 23-22 and August Warner would be, it would be a fitting end to set one if he can get the last two. He's been huge. Had that big block. Warner, serve, libero, set, left side. Dejane with the dig. Rose running for it, sets, fires, hits it over. That ball is gonna hit the antenna, and it's a Lancer point. Set point and set one. 24-22, Lancers need one more. Warner looking to win it, and Chaminade will try and ice Warner. We'll have the result. After this timeout, coming up next, this is Lancer Volleyball, late in set one. Lancers lead 24-22 here on the Valley's Broadcast Network. Out of the timeout, Warner looking to win it for the Lancers. August gets it over, it's a dig! And the Lancers come back and takes that one. August Warner gets the last two, last one on ace. Lancers take set one, 25-22 over the Red Devils of Chaminade. Set two coming up here after a break. This is Lancer Volleyball on the Bubble East Broadcast Network.
And we welcome back here to Bubble East. Set two coming up here between the Lancers and the Red Devils of Chaminade. The boys take set one, winning 25-22. They were down by two, 21-19. And pull it out there. Good job by the boys. Steven Stockton, we've got to have you log on a Friday afternoon. Man, that scared me a little bit, but I tell you, never lose faith, never lose trust in these boys. I said it before in that tournament when they were down against St. Xavier. They never back down. They never give up. And they show that there against Chaminade. Out there to start here for Bubble East. Did set two. Jack Byers, Damian Watson, Sebastian Schultz, Keegan Rose, Caleb Day, August Warner, Cam DeJernay, Israel Lapero. He's waiting to come in. We'll see if the Lanterns can make it another set shutout. They've only lost one set all season. That was against St. Xavier. And now we'll try and make another one of those good old set shutouts. I love these. I love these, you know. JV. Started off with a win here today, and now it's up to Varsity to continue that and go 12-0. They got their best start in program history last night, the win against Alton. Those boys on the floor just keep playing well. Let's see if they can win here by more than three in the second. So obviously first to get a set shutout, but win by more than three would be great as well. Chaminade in the last five years in their program history, besides the minus the COVID year, they're 61, 81, and six. How about this? So the year before the COVID year, 2019, they went 28 and six. Pretty good year, but the year after they went two and 21, then five and 25. So 2021, 2022, because Chaminade, 2020, there was no volleyball for anybody. 2021 went two and 21. 2022 went five and 22. Last year, 18, 14, and three. They've been on the up trying to get back to where their program was just a few years ago. That serve is over. It's Damian Watson at the opening serve. Lancer serve right to left. Chaminade set at left side. That's right in the middle. Point for the Devils. They take the lead. It's one nothing. Open things up. Chaminade's a good team. Their record, 2-5-1. and one. I, and We talked about how much a record says. For Chaminade, 2-5-1 is not the record you won, obviously, but they've had some tough opponents. I just talked about they had to play Slough High, St. Pius X, two very solid teams that Bubbles will take on later on this year. But Lance has already took on St. Pius X. We know how good Slough High is, one of the best programs in boys volleyball in the area. There is going to be a violation on the Devils, so a point for the Lancers. We're tied up at one. Jack Byers will serve it for the second time. Jack will serve it here. Come on. And Lancers never really had that run of four or five straight, so I'd like to see if we can get that here. Line drive. Dig is out. Point. Bob Elise. They take their first lead. A set two. Two to one. Jack attack, baby. I, mean, I don't think Jack knows about that nickname yet. I'm going to make sure he knows here tonight. Go talk to him. I should have talked to him. It's the perfect opportunity Wednesday when I interviewed him about his, my nickname for him. That is going to go out, though, from Byers just barely out. 2-2 two -two here in set two to start things off. It will be number 11, which is Bodie Steinbecker to serve it. He is a senior outside, and the whole star in the lineup is pretty much seniors besides a junior middle, and their libero is also a junior. That one is tipped over. Libero makes the play set. Left side, sent over, back left corner. Was it off of Byers? It was. Point Chaminade, they take the lead back, 3-2. Serve is over, Little Barrel, DeJernay. It's gonna be in. Kill for Bevel Ace, 3-3. Serve is over, Warner, Rose. Warner, what a dig by Chaminade, ball still alive, go left side, off a of Dame, and it's gonna be a point for the Devils, 4-3. One point game. Chaminade, Libero. Hector Lopez serves it. Rose Day hits it over, and a kill for Caleb. Mr. Day starting to get it alive. 4-4, four, four. Tice Watson's in. Damian Watson out. Keegan Rose will serve it here for the Lancers. 
Here is Keegan, serves it in the middle, set, go left side, hit off of Tice on the block into the crowd. 5-4, Shamanad back up in front. Jack Temperini will serve it here. Senior setter, Tyler Krentz, who is their Wilbero defense specialist, came in a little bit. He Earlier in set one, he's averaging 2.8 digs per set, but not playing here as of right now. Right side, August, tip over into the net. Shamanad by two, it's 6-4. That's their largest lead at two in the game and in the set. Another serve coming for the Red Devils. Right in the middle, Dejanay's there. Rose, set, left side, Tice! Hello, Mr. Watson. He'll put that down, it's 6-5. His first kill to set. Just came in as well. Answers by one, it will be August Warner back to serve. He ended the first set from the service line. He in two straight. The last one included an ace. August. Serve. Right to the libero. In the middle. Go right side. There is Warner. He's got Keegan. Keegan's going to set. Jack had it blocked. Byers is there. Rose back to Jack. Had it blocked again. Lancers won a whistle. A point. They're not going to get it. Oh, they are, wait, well, no, it's gonna, okay, Warner thought it was the serve. It's gonna go to Chaminade, and Warner is upset now. No argument from the Lancers, 7-5, Chaminade by two, Rose, right side, Tice, off of Frick's hands, and a point for the Lancers, they get it right back, 7-6, Dejanay out, Schultz is in, and Caleb Day to serve. I don't think Schultz has put one down yet. We need him to put one down. That'll give us a little momentum, trying to get us a little boost here. Day, pretty good serve, gets it over near the line. He's been a pretty good server all year too. Nice, set, or put it down, and Day was right there. Great play to keep it alive. Here come Sean out again right in the middle. There is Rose, Schultz, he's gonna set Tice from the right side, right in the middle. Red Devils, Wilbero, pass, left side. That one is into the net. Lancers have tied it at seven. In set two. 7-7 seven, seven is our score. Serve, it's gonna be an ace. Lancers take the lead back, Caleb Day. Man, is he huge, 8-7. He's giving the Lancers a one point lead in set two, we need Day to continue this. Day. To the barrel, back to back aces for Caleb. Yes, 9 7. And the Lancers have scored four straight, and they lead by two. Served by Day. This one is in. How about three straight for Caleb? It's three straight. Caleb Day has made it 10 7. Five straight. For Bubble East. What did I just say? You know, was Caleb was serving it. How good Caleb Day is as a was a server. You know, how big his service. He's been a great serving it. And here he is with three straight aces. I spoke it into existence. I also spoke that serve into the net in existence. He'll come out, but he made some big plays there. 10-8. Dejanay in for him. It'll be Hayden Schmitz, defensive specialist, will serve it. For the Blue Devils. Serve is over. Warner, Rose, right side. Tice near the line. Tice wants it with the kill. And the Lancers lead. 11 8. Back up by three. It'll be Tice to serve it as well. He's been great this game, too. He's been huge. He keeps continues to step up as well. Day has been big. Warner. Rose has been making some big sets. Byers has some things going in set one. Trying to see if he can get him going in set two. That would turn up a gas pedal. Can't speak. That would get the gas pedal pressed down a little bit more. There we go. Rose sends over on a free ball in the middle. 
to it left side. That hits the Lancer players. JJ Diamond played, keep it alive. Off the shot, but not out of bounds. Lancers by four, 12 to eight. Their largest lead of the game is four for the Lancers. Dice serves it near the crowd as Shaman has to send a free ball over. The Libero gets it over. Tatrone, Rose, Warner in the middle. Libero sends it back. Schultz couldn't make a play, and he will get upset himself with that. Just missed that one. He laughs it off, and it, it's been good. 12-9, and Tice Watson out. Damian Watson back in. Three-point game, Lancers here lead in set two. Tyler Krentz will serve it. This serve is near the left corner, and it's just in. Just in. I mean, that was close. But a good spot. He aimed it up, and he calculated it. 12-10. It's a two-point game. Another serve for the Devils. This one's over. Warner, Rose, Byers. Near the net, free ball's over. Going back is Warner. Rose, Schultz, he's got it! Sebastian makes it 13 10. I mean, he made up for that play just a few minutes, seconds ago. Rose gets him after Byers had it blocked. They tried to get with Sh Sebastian, and he said, hey, I got you, let me finish it. Jack Byers will serve it here for the Lancers. Three point game. Byers, line drive to Libero. Go left side, set in the middle, over. Dame time, Rose, Werner, over. Chaminade, left side, set in the middle, tip over off of Schultz, he plays it. He's got Rose, Werner, over. Kill for August! 14-10, the boys are up by four. Baseball was winning late, and I know this game ain't over yet, but I want to check that real quick. Hopefully we get some good news to report because having some good news right now during this as this one develops. That serve. Dig is out. Lancer point. 15-10. Lancers by five. And Shamanad needs a timeout. The Lancers have their largest lead of the game. It's set two, 15-10 in favor of the boys. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. This is Lancer Volleyball on the Bell East Broadcast Network. Steven Stock with the Lancers leading by five here at set two. Took the first set, 25-22 the lead, 15-10. Out of the Chaminade timeout, it will be Jack Byers to serve it. The junior, Jack attack over. Libero on the dig in the middle. Go left side, off the block, out of bounds off of Beverly. So Chaminade executes right out of the timeout. The Devils make it a four-point game, 15-11. Steinbecker will be back to serve for the second time. This serve, there is Damien. Gets it to Rose, left side, August! There's a kill for August Werner. 16-11, Days back in, Schultz is out, and it'll be Dage and Ailey Libero to serve it. We need five, uh, up by five, they need nine more. We're almost there. That one is over. Set, go left side. There is Watson off of Dame time, and it will go out. 
So the Devils respond to the kill, and it's 16-12, and it's back to four. They're sticking around, man. I'm telling you, Lancers just have not been able to get a run yet here. Chaminade's played very impressive. Props to them. And a team that you look at the record 2-5-1, and one, you say, this is not a 2-5-1 and one team. And I tell you, no, it's not because they've played some tough opponents. They're a good team, and you're seeing it here against Beville East, one of the best teams in the state. That's going to go out. Warner hits it out, 16-13. It's a three. Oh, they're going to call it off the touch. Off the touch. So it will be a Lancer point. So Lancers go up by five, August with the kill. 17-12, Damian Watson will come out, Tice Watson in. It'll be Keegan Rose to serve. Alan Soler, Shamat sends it back. There is Rose, Byers is Rose and Byers collide. They still get it over there off the hit by Warner. Shamanah, tip over. Tice in the net. Dade tried to play it off and couldn't. 17-13 point for the Devils as it hits the ground. Jack Temporetti will serve it. Line drive, in on the back left corner. That's the second time Shamanad's found that back left corner. I mean, I mean, it's so close. It's been tough for the Lancers to, I mean, play that. It's but they just keep finding that back left corner, and it's just barely in. But I mean, they're, I mean, it's it's getting there. It's three point game, 17-14. Another serve for Shamanad. Over and it is in. It's another ace near the left line. Two point game, Temporetti has back to back aces. 17-15, it's a two point game. Served by Shamana, that one's over. Byers sends it back. Byers, what a dig is. Devils try to hit it over. Byers back over. Libero dig near the net. Warner on the block. Here come the Devils again to send it back near the back left corner. Byers back it up, makes a play. Rose, Warner had it blocked. Point Devils. It's a one point game, three straight, as that was Ryan Frick on the left side of the block. And Warner's going to argue 17 16. And he discusses with the ref, see if he can try and overturn this. It'll stay with Shamana at 17-16. And he's talking with Coach Nesby. He's trying to say it looks like he, I think I heard him say he touched his head. Not sure if that's a really exactly what happened, but that's what we have. That's what Warner was saying. Point it at his head. And I heard him say hit my head. That serve is over. Shamana trying to tie it. Rose, stay in that. This game is tight. Oh, yeah, it's tied. Went to the bottom of the net, I think. That's what I thought. Maybe, did it go over? Shaman, I did play it while we're calling. What are we calling, replay? We're going to get a replay. So it's still 17-16. One point game. Serve is too strong and out. So that ends that. Service run, and we need some points from Mr. Warner. He's at the line. We need him to pop a run off. Warner, over, tip over, back by the Devils. Dejernay, Rose, right side, Tice. There is Tice. Watson with the kill. Lancers by three. 19-16, we need six more. Warner, over, dig, Shamanah, throw it left side, off of Rose. Devils respond, 19-17. Two point game. Ryan Frick will serve it for Shamanah. Trying to get some points here, they had it within one. Rose, day, it's out, Lancers want a touch. 
It's just gonna go out and it's a one point game, 19-18. Served by Chaminade, right to Dejan A. Rose to Byers, sends it over. Jack with the kill. Mr. Jack attack. He's loose, 20 to 18. Lancers by two, Dejan A out. Schultz is in. Noel Vero with Caleb Day serving at the line. Day serves it, Lavero pass though at left side. Tip over right, blocked. Ball still alive, going backwards. Chaminade, free ball. That's three touches, ain't gonna get over. Lancers by three, 21, 18. Just need four more, and it might be the hardest four points all day, and Chaminade will call their last timeout. 21, 18, lane set two. Boys trying to get it done, trying to get to 12 and 0 in the year. We'll be back after a timeout. This is Lancer Volleyball on the Valley Broadcast Network. Lancers lead by three. Students talk to you late here at set two. Caleb Day serving out of the Chaminade timeout. Going backwards. Libero sends over a free ball near the line. There's Warner. Rose sets up Schultz at a block. Sebastian gets it back. Rose. Byers! Jack attack, baby! <laughs> Byers makes it a four-point lead. 22-18. Lancers need three more. Come on, Caleb. Let's go, Caleb. 22-18. Served by Day. It is over. Fire sends it back. Chaminade set. Right side tip over. Warner gets it a rose. Keegan, August had it blocked. Warner, Schultz tips it all right in the middle. Devils trying to respond. Libero throws it to the left side. Over. Warner, Keegan, right side, Tice! Off the block for a kill! They need two more, 23-18. Come on, Tice. Two more. They serve just a little bit out to the left, 23-19. Four point game. Caleb Day is out, Dejane in. <laughs> Serve, Rose, fires. It's out, hit the antenna. 23-20. Chaminade two straight, trying to keep this one alive. They need a run. They're looking to string a few together. Hayden Schmidt serving it here. Schmitz, line drive. There's Warner in the middle. He's gonna get it to Rose. Right side, Tice wants it! Puts it down. Game point, we need one more. And Tice with the kill. Now look to end it from the service line. 24-20. Here we go, Watson. Tice looking to win it. Here we go. 24-20, Lancers took the first set, 25-23. Tice puts up in the air for the win, gets it over. Rivero, dig, out! Lancers win another one! It's a set shutout! 
Lancers improve to 12 and 0. A set shutout, 25-22, 25-20. The boys get it done. 12 and 0 in the year. They continue their best start in program history. Shamanad falls to 2-6-1. We'll talk about it next on our Lancer Volleyball postgame show. Welcome back in here to Beverly. Welcome into our Lancer Volleyball postgame show. The boys get a big win tonight, winning in two sets over the Red Devils of Chaminade High School, winning 25-22, 25-20, approved to 12-0, continuing their best start in program history, joined by one of the big players of that game, the senior, Caleb Day. Thanks for taking the time to join me after this one. It's a pleasure to be here. For you guys, I know Chaminade, they had you guys throughout the game, and you guys kept battling, never backed down, and got it done. Yeah, uh, like Coach was saying down there, we were pushed against the wall like how it was in the St. Xavier game. I feel like in moments like that, we love to be pushed against the wall because we fight harder, like play harder, focus more. It gives us more focus, and we just ultimately terminate the ball. What's the message like during those spots where Chaminade is up by two, 21-19 in set one? What's the message? Hey, hey I mean, what, what, do you guys, what do you guys do when you're down by two in those spots? What do you guys got to do to get the lead back? We see that we're down, we focus up, we realize, hey, if this, play's if this play's working, we run it consistently. Obviously, me in the middle, I draw the block, set like Jack or August, they kill the ball, terminate. It's all about the teamwork, like a uh, well-oiled machine. That's what it was that I forgot. <laughs> there you go. The other week. Yes. Uh, and, and talking about the teamwork, I mean, it, it, I, I've, ta I've talked to this guy before. It's not just you, it's not just August, it's, it's not just, just one person. Everybody's working together. Yeah. How big is it when everyone's working together like they were tonight to pull out a win like uh, you guys just did? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. We work as a team. You know, obviously Camden or 
Keegan or Jack, anyone passes the ball, a good pass. It's just we, we run perfect offense. We just build off of each other, and ultimately we win. So now 12-0, and 0, I mean, you look at that, and obviously there's a reason why you guys are the best team uh, in program history so far, the best start at 12-0. and 0. What is that? How does that? What? How do you think that record speaks to your guys' talent in this team? Because I feel like, for me, seeing how you guys play, we you guys compete with anybody. Obvious, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Twelve and zero, great start. This is, this is a wonderful start, especially for me for my senior season. This is just amazing. You know, it's my last year here. Twelve and zero speaks volume. We show that, like all the other schools in Illinois, that some team from the south, southern, southwestern can just compete with the best of them. All right, Caleb, thanks for coming up here. Congrats on Let's keep up that good work, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. That is our player of the game, Caleb Day. I was going to get Ty Swanson up here, but we have had him, I think, up here twice. Maybe not twice, but once, but I want to get Day. He was big, but shout out to Ty Swanson as well. He was huge as well. And again, I, I, I mean, obviously those guys stick out, but it's not just uh, – them too. It's everybody making plays. I, I love the – again, I I talk about how proud I am, how happy I am uh, of these boys. And our win, Coach is, you know, he's been pretty happy over the last few days just talking with him with how much his team has done better since Monday and since last week. They've been more consistent. And Chaminade played really well. Like, I I talk about giving the haps – got to tip your caps to Chaminade and these other teams. Chaminade deserves it tonight. They played uh, just very, very well. They were a good team. And they, they had, as Caleb was talking about, pushed, pushed by the least into the corner. They were pushed near the wall, backs against the wall, down by two late in 7-1-21-19. But they battled through it. And, and it's big when you can do that. You know, these guys, I said it, they never back down. They're going to battle through it. They're going to fight. And they fought to win this game in two sets. And I you got to give a lot of uh, respect to, to Bevelis and a lot of respect to Shaman and how good they play. But Bevelis, man, they, they, they continue to just look incredible. And I, I'd say, I, I told Caleb, I, told, I tell this to you guys all the time, everybody needs to play like they do. You know, everyone needs to step up. If everyone steps up with the talent they have, there's no reason they can't they do this. They, they, they should have the confidence. They can do it. They have the talent to, and they were seeing that here. These boys have played – Incredible tonight and incredible this season. They got to keep it going, though. There's still tough more opponents. And, and Caleb said 12 0 is a great start. It is a great start, but there's more work to be done. There's always more work to be done to that day in June, at uh, that weekend in June, where you hold up that state first place title, that trophy. There is work to be done to get to that day. And I know we're talking here on April 5th, 12 0. Everything's going well. More things have to be done. And I'm hoping we go back to today and, and this Chaminade win and say, hey, this is a big win on the year that got the boys to continue to roll, give them a continue to give momentum on in the next few weeks here. Because now you look at this, you're going to have St. Mary's on Tuesday. They were okay out of St. Louis. They looked at them just a little bit, so they looked at Chaminade. Then you'll have Ledoux on Thursday. I think they may have a game on Wednesday. Maybe not. I can't think. I, I can't remember. I know we got I'm looking at softball and baseball next week as well. Um, but it's going to get tough. They have a weekend up, or next week have a tournament up north. That's going to be some competition. And then Slough High the week after, and O'Fallon. Uh, Bevel West again. Um, it is. I don't know why I said West again. West will be tough. I mean, it is. This is going to start ramping up the competition now. And, and Chaminade was a big upstep from Wednesday, yesterday and Wednesday against uh, St. Charles, Lutheran St. Ch St. Charles and uh, Alton last night. Obviously, those were solid teams. Alton was 5-5. Five and five. Uh, uh, Lutheran was, I think, 3-8-1. and one. Chaminade played really well. And again, I talked about it. Their record, 2-5-1. and one. I don't think that tells the story of their team because it, it doesn't. They were a good team. Uh, they are a good team. I'm just really interested to see how they do in the rest of the year. But uh, big win tonight for Bubble East. And we got it. They got to continue playing like this. They have to. They played good tonight. I'm really, uh, really, just really, really proud of the boys as always. These guys have been awesome, you know, and they, they play awesome. And you just love to see uh, what they've done tonight here against the Chaminade Red Devils. Hey, let's get to see what news from. Lancer Nation. We weren't, boys volleyball wasn't the only team that won today. Coach Wiggs and his crew, the boys, over the baseball diamond snapped the two game losing streak. A bad day yesterday. It was a bad day, but they come back defeating Mount Vernon, winning 4 to 2. Logan Faust with the win for the Lancers, pitching wise, and a good win for Coach Wiggs. Getting back on the right foot for Beverly's four runs, too, is good for the offense. They got to continue to uh, hit, they got to continue to play well. And again, I talked about it. They are a good team if they can get it done. Hold on. 
current progress. Oops, hold on. Oops, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. Oops. Okay, anyway, I was looking at my phone, and then softball, I was trying to pull up the softball score. Softball also got the win. Winning, I think it was 6-1, to one, I think that's what I saw on my phone. So, softball gets to the win. They've won three straight now, right? O'Fallon. Where they play? It's Granite City. Then Columbia, they'll play Red Bud tomorrow. So, softball, baseball, boys, volleyball, all got to win the trifecta here today on a Friday. Good way to start off the weekend. Baseball's off. Boys, volleyball's off this weekend. And then uh, it will be softball tomorrow, doubleheader against Red Bud. We're back at it Tuesday. So that's our next broadcast Tuesday out at the Softball Diamond. The Tigers of Edwards will come in town in Southwestern Conference play. It should be a good one. This is a big one. The Lancers lost to Edwards. I think it was 1-0 or 2-1 to one in the sectional semifinal last year for softball. So they need to try and get back get back at them, avenge a loss, and see how they do. Edwards is a good team. And so it's going to be another, one of those litmus tests for Beverly to see where they're at on the year and trying to get back to uh, – Form or they, you know, four a few weeks ago uh, before Carterville, they looked really good before that Carterville game. They're starting to get back there. Ten out to win against O'Fallon, sixteen out to win against Grant City, and they won today six to one against Columbia. Got to keep playing like that as it, again. It's a good day, good day to start off the weekend. Three wins in Lancer Nation: baseball, boys volleyball, and softball. All get it done. We're back Tuesday next week with softball. Edwardsville Tuesday, and we'll have that for you at four fifteen on our Lancer softball pregame show from the softball diamond, first pitch at 4.30. So on a Friday night, it's uh, been a great, great way to start off the weekend. Great win today over Shaw out a good, very good team, and happy of the boys, and we'll see if they can continue it. They will play uh, Tuesday against St. Mary's at home, as I mentioned, right at the softball diamond. So thanks to everyone tuning in, as always. Appreciate everyone tuning in. It's a lot of fun. Hope you had as much fun watching as I did bring it to you. On a Friday, hope you have a good rest of your Friday night. Have a good rest of your weekend. Hopefully see you Tuesday. If not, until next time we see you, we'll see you guys later.